Hi everyone, it's Michael. Let's do a quick demo of ASAP Utilities so you can get a feel for what I'm talking about and hopefully we can get through all these P6 Excel import issues. I've had a lot of questions lately about this stuff. Okay, so let's have a look at Excel here. So I've got my Excel open. This is P6 data I've exported from a project. Now notice, go ahead and check out ASAP Utilities. Uh, the link is in the post. <clears throat> when you install it, you'll find that you get a little tab up here. And I'm pretty sure it works with all different versions of Excel, and I'm on Excel 2010. Okay, so nice little tab. And as I mentioned, there are just a ton of features in this software. Um, I ex encourage you to go and explore, see all the different things you can do. Okay, come back to my spreadsheet. Here's my actual cost column. This is some resource assignment data I want to update. And all I've done is I've gone in and manually typed in the values. Okay. Now, as I mentioned in the post, I need that apostrophe. And what you certainly can do is as you're typing in the values, you could put the apostrophe in to begin with. So notice you can actually type in like that. Uh, and the apostrophe is there. Now, I'll just show that to you again. So I have the zero without uh, the apostrophe. If I type, sorry, I have the zero with the apostrophe. If I type in a value, 1200, the apostrophe is gone, okay? So what the apostrophe uh, was there because it actually came from the data that was in the, in the spreadsheet that came from P6. This zero value came from P6. P6 put the apostrophe there. But when I'm typing in those values, the apostrophe doesn't show. I, if I'm smart enough, I can remember to actually type the apostrophe in and then put my value in. But for a lot of people, we're gonna forget and sometimes we're not the only people updating these spreadsheets. So here's the solution. We will highlight all the data that we're interested in. Okay, I guess I can ignore those top and bottom values. And we'll go over here to text ASAP Utilities, and we'll do this first entry here. It says insert before or after each cell in your selection. What a nice feature. And all I'm going to do is put the apostrophe in the add before area, and we'll go ahead and it, it will kind of show you the result. Okay? And treat cells as text. <clears throat> Let's click OK, see what happens. All right. So you can see that when I did that, all of the values aligned to the left, and that's the result that we want, and you can see all my apostrophes are in there. Now, it will run that on huge swaths of data, which is incredibly valuable, because I know a lot of you folks are dealing with huge project plans. Go check out ASAP Utilities. I think it's gonna help save us all some heartache when we're importing data into P6.